What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jones and Man, and I'm here in Nashville, baby. And tonight we're Jones and on Corazon Tequila. All right, so this is Corazon's Añejo. Um, it is aged in Eagle Rail barrels. And you might be saying, but ho, 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 you got. To there's more people in the camera, more people in the frame. I do have two tequila drinking special guests with me tonight. I'm going to allow you ladies to introduce yourselves. I'm MJ. And I'm Court. MJ and Court. So, I always like to ask, are you guys or ladies tequila drinkers? Occasionally. Do you have a reference of tequila? Usually the better stuff. The better stuff? Okay, okay. <laughs> So do you, I mean, do you like Blancos? Do you like Reposados? Do you like Añeos? Yes, okay, Blanco, Blanco. Okay, all right, all right. So I went the other way tonight. Okay. Uh, so this is an Añeo <laughs> tequila. Um, what's unique about this one is it's aged 17 months in Eagle Rare. So Corazon is under uh, the big conglomerate of Sazerac. Ah. So they make tequila. Okay. And because they're under that umbrella, they're able to... Uh, age some of their tequila in well-known barrels. I say Buffalo Trace. Are you, do you guys ever yeah, drink any whiskey? Yeah. Okay. So Buffalo Trace, in my opinion, one of the best distilleries making whiskey today. Right. Eagle Rare is one of those solid products. So this is actually a special release. Usually comes out once a year. This is a 2022. Mm -hmm. um, this bottle probably runs about 100 bucks somewhere in the neighborhood. And it's aged for 17 months in Eagle Rail barrels. Okay. Um, I've tried, I mean, they do Eagle Rail, they do Blanton's, they do William LaRue, all of, and if you don't drink whiskey, you're like, oh, all these fancy people names. <laughs> but if you do, then you'll, permit, my, my audience is familiar with like all of these are really big names for whiskey. So it imparts a different little taste um, depending on what kind of bottle or what kind of barrel it's aged in. Okay. But all that said and done, I think typically, I believe, um, Corazon is a Highlands, Los Altos, mm -hmm. uh, Highlands tequila. Um, so they are typically a little bit sweeter, a little bit easier to drink. But I think we should just open it and get into it, right? I'm with Absolutely. You. All right. So this is something I love to share with everybody. But this time, I'm going to let one of the ladies do it. MJ, after you. Pop that thing. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, that was quiet. Oh, uh, <laughs> appreciate Sound it. effects. So See, do, we, do we do this? Yeah, oh, sure. Smell it. Now, I'm, I'm being good tonight because normally I'd be like, uh, I'm sure you popped a cork or two before. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be good. So typically I like to pour us a little neat pour okay. um, to give us a a feel for what the distiller intended and how they intended it to taste. Okay. And then from there, we can either add some ice to it or make an ice pour. So grab your glass. Thank and you. take a nice little little whiff. See what you smell. Or do you pick up anything? Does it make you say, oh, my God? Or A little bit of memories. A little, little bit of memories. Tipsy tales. Tipsy tales. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about tipsy tales <laughs> later on. But what do, you, what do you smell? There's the sweetness to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it has a nice sweetness to it. It does. Uh, a little, I get a little bit of oak underneath there, a little bit of, what does that make? I, I kind of want to say like uh, vanilla, uh, a vanilla candy or something. I can, yeah. Um, around here, my little catchphrase is clink them and drink them. Okay. So around here, we clink them and drink them. That's yeah. good. Smooth. Okay. So, um, what? How was that experience? How would you describe it? Um, better than Jose. Better than Jose. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is most certainly better than Jose. This is not the one that you want to salt in the wine. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to. What is it? Lick them, suck them. Yep. Lick them, slam it. Lick it, slam it, suck it. Yeah. That, you don't have you to do that. You don't have to do that. Okay. So, do you taste anything in the tequila? I, I can taste that 
aging the barrel. The barrel. The barrel. Yeah. A little bit of oak, a little yeah, bit of woodiness. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get a little like um, pepperiness, yes. kind of dancing yes. around my but tongue a little much. bit. Not too much. Yes. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, 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 spicy, it's a little. But, a little but it's not too spicy. A little, no, little, 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 like little mariachi. Yeah. 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 yeah, like that. <laughs> um, a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, mariachi yeah. dancing now. Mm -hmm. A little bit of vanilla in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that uh, citrusy yeah. um, kind of, it's not really vegetable, but that citrusy, earthy, earthy note is the agave. So that's that's what you should taste from a, an agave standpoint. Uh, and my tongue doesn't feel dry. No, It's kind of kind of smooth and coated mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. Um, when you taste it, you get a little bit in your mouth, maybe a little bit in your throat. It's not too bad here. But it, it doesn't it doesn't go all down no, in your chest. Yeah. 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 Well, normally when you drink tequila, you feel it all the way through. All the way. And sometimes if it's bad tequila, you feel it when it comes back <laughs> up. And this one you don't you hopefully you don't have to worry about no, that. Not at all. Each one of these expressions is different. Um I don't really taste anything. I drink Eagle Rare. I don't really taste anything that makes me say Eagle Rare. But it's so mellow and easy. It is a mellow. Very yeah. nice mm -hmm. So let's put us in a little bit of ice. Uh, uh, does anybody need a little bit more tequila? I'm good right now. Okay. Thank you. Swirl around. And you would, I would think at 17 months, it'd be a lot darker. I agree. In yes. there. But it's, it's almost like a... A hoven, like a blanco that's just been aged for a little bit, or maybe blended with something. Mm -hmm. All right, let's crank them and drink them and see what we have here with a little bit of ice. What do you think? I like it better than eat. I do too. I mean, t totally takes the pepper out. Yeah. There's no dancing on the tongue. Oh. Um, it, it mutes it somewhat. It makes it easy to drink, mm -hmm. but it does have a little bit of uh, alcohol finish right on the end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That you don't get with just the straight. So I, I could go either way. It depends on, you know, what I'm trying to do. <laughs> what I'm trying to do for the <laughs> evening. <laughs> so this is why. So this is what we do. Now we rate it on scale of one to five. One being, man, you should probably push that bottle off the table and just don't drink it anymore. Mm -hmm. Or five being, I love this. I want to drink this more regularly. This is my new favorite. Now, I also will try and add sometimes, like, hey, this is this is a hundred dollar tequila. Secondary market might be 150, 200 bucks. Um, so it's not a cheap tequila. But taking all of those things in mind, where would you ladies rate it? Four point five. Mm. Yeah, I would say between a four and a five. Yeah. So if you saw this at a bar, you'd be like, oh, let me get one of those, please. I'll take yeah. one of those. I do. I do enjoy it, man. It is really, really good. It's good. 80 proof. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was anything else in there. I got to agree with you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say four-ish. Only reason why I'm going to say four is I've also had this um, aged in William LaRue barrels. Oh. Um, and that is just like, well balanced. That's everything. That's perfect. Um, so I kind of that's my four. That's my four or five. Okay, okay. But this is really really good. Um, I definitely think if you find these, they're worth picking up at that price point because tequila is uh, to me tequila should be your most expensive spirit because it takes so long to grow the agave. Mm -hmm. it, it takes long to age it. Um, you should invest a little bit of money in that. Now, there was a little subject of a tipsy tale. Should I pour more tequila um, so that we can hear the, the full tipsy tale? Oh, I don't and we, know. And we can, do we, I need to be the one to tell this I, I'm not even sure. Like, I feel like this is a shared journey of it tipsy tales. We've had multiple yes. tipsy tales. Yes. So I'm like, do we do the burrito? Or. The burrito was fine. The burrito was fine. The bottle of wine was also fun. That was a delight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting more and more. Can I can I offer you more? <laughs> I think we should get all these up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So the burrito tail 
uh, we had a work event uh, that, yeah, we had to earn uh, the right to be there. To be there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so a big event for our area, and we were able to take significant others. Okay. So we had we both had our significant others there, mm-hmm. uh, and myself uh, and my significant other, um, Courtney and her significant other, all rode home together. Uh, because we had a DD. there was, yes, there yeah. was, a DD, okay. which, which was my significant other. Mm-hmm. Great responsibility. Uh, yeah, yes, always. Yes. Um, but in the process of going home, Courtney and her partner had a little bit extra. I, I, yeah, Courtney, there was, yeah, there was, yeah there was, I'm, there was, I'm extra. There's there yeah. a little bit yeah. extra drinks yeah. that night. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You really don't need a DD if someone doesn't go extra. Yeah. You know, so you were actually fulfilling a much important need which was validating the dd 100 well, well yeah. continue yeah. continue yes, yes yes i only do good in the world yeah yes. that's what i'm talking yeah. about uh, so we get in the car and as a vegetarian there There's are nothing. typically limited yeah. options oh. other than the alcohol that was alcohol there. and unsalted macaroni and cheese yes, <laughs> yes. Not, not good never uh so she very much wanted to breed them and we get on the interstate and we're like, we will get you a burrito. Okay. And I'm going, I don't know what kind of burrito you're going to have because most of the burritos that I know have meat in them. Yeah, yeah. But. We're going to make it happen. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, we'll figure out a place to get you a burrito, but I need you to get in the car. Okay. Because we got to go home. Sure. So, so she gets in the car uh, and we're riding home and she's like, seriously, I need this burrito <laughs> so bad. She's like, promise to daddy you will get me this burrito. <laughs> Promise to daddy, like this is kind of weird. This is like a turn that I would not expect for us to get out. Promise to daddy. But it's like a pinky swear, like, it's like you know, it's like it's like it's a level it's, up it's, over a pinky swear. Because do you ever break a promise to daddy to your dad? So it is, it is like that solemn oath, like we are getting this done. And okay. I'm like, okay, we will find you a burrito. Did we find me a burrito? We did not. Find I me a I remember oh. that uh, they were but, but, promised no, to daddy. That, that was. <laughs> That was your partner at the time that actually Greg promised that. Okay, okay. Because, yeah, it was, it yes. was, that was a that was a breaking point. For yes. Me. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I once yeah. you break a promise to daddy, there's, there's you, you really can't that. go any further. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that very quickly yeah. right now. I, I am going to add that to my repertoire. Promise to daddy. Promise to daddy. Uh, it, yeah. was, it was a new night for us. If, if you would like something, you better promise to daddy. You know? <laughs> okay, I like I like that. Most definitely. Yeah, well. <laughs> I enjoy you ladies joining us. Thanks for having us. Um, hopefully we will do more, drink more tequila. I, I feel like we should probably do a little dent in this bottle this evening just for the sake of ceremony. Well, we need some more tipsy tales. We need some more tipsy tales. You promised to daddy? I, I promised to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Tiki Talkies. Uh, go to jonesandman.com. Grab yourself something awesome and fantastic. I don't know if we have this on there, but if we do, you definitely should grab one. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, you're going to pay for it because these are allocated and they are hard to find. But I would say, and you ladies tell me if I'm wrong, it's definitely worth it. It is worth it. 100%. Boom. We'll see you next time. Clink them and drink them. Hey.